gang with my pinky ring. A lot of gang, a lot of bitches in the icy chain. Why you claim that you rich? That's a false claim. I'll be straight to the whip, no baggage claim. What's make it dip. What's poppin' 10? I'm the pasta 10. All these ends, why you motherfuckers got to be? I'm this cops again. Eat a box of something. I such a little watch with some rocks or something. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to show you how I achieved this lavender color and I'm starting off with the 613 bob that I had in previously and I'm spraying it with um, the got to be free spray just to let the color not stain the lace and I'm going in with the adore dye in lavender and at first guys I didn't mix the whole thing because I didn't want it to be dark and the water looked really dark to me so I used like a half and then I tried adding the wig and then I ended up using the whole bottle so you don't have to do like how I how I did it you can just add the whole bottle because I ended up using the whole bottle anyways and I wanted it to be like a soft lavender color but at first it didn't look like it was gonna be a soft lavender and guys let me tell you how this video I wasn't going to post it because I went through a lot not with the color but I tried cutting this hair into a shorter bob and mm -mm, mm -mm, honey it did not work but right now as it relates to the watercolor portion that was good I'm just dipping in the ends and I'm just trying to comb through the hair so that the water will get the entire hair and after placing you know getting the water through everything I just left the hair in the water for like three to four minutes because within like four minutes all the color was soaked up and you can tell when there's no more color left in the water the water will be clear and your hair will dissolve all it all the um the color but as you can see I ended up using the whole bottle because I had to go back and you see that it was all kind of like patchy weird looking but then I added the rest of the dye and I filled it in somewhat and I think I would have had the dye distributed on the whole entire hair better if I had just used the whole bottle in the beginning but yeah guys after taking the hair out I went in again with another dye and I'm gonna go in with a soft lavender because I wanted it to be a, a soft well lavender looking color so I tried using lavender and soft lavender so I mixed the entire bottle this time I didn't even bother doing a half and another half and then I added it and I think the soft lavender color filled in all the gaps look at me praying hoping it comes out right I think the soft lavender color filled in all the gaps that was there that missed out on the first set of coloring and I think the color came out pretty decent it had different shades in it like it was lavender but with like different hints of purple in it but I wasn't like you know mad at the color I thought it was fine in my opinion what went wrong though is me cutting this hair guys tell me why i took the hair and i blow dried it right look at how beautiful the color looks boom i should have just left it like that but i didn't want it to look the same like how i had the hair originally with the blonde bob i wanted it to look different so i wanted a shorter uh, my thing was i'm gonna get a short choppy bob it's gonna look so edgy tell me why i blow dry the hair and then cut it i have cut hair before who told me this time blow dry the hair and cut it dry that was the stupidest thing I could have ever done look at that at first when I cut the first side it didn't look bad but guys when I got to the second side I was like oh my god no mm -mm. and I tried like cutting it down with a razor comb but my advice to you if you're cutting hair cut it while it's damp or wet do not cut it dry I'm no professional I don't know who the hell told me I was a professional to cut the damn hair dry you see when I got like to the back I was like shit it's not straight and then when I went in on the other side like that's when I knew I screwed up when I cut the other side it was very jaggedy it wasn't even straight like what the hell is that guys like I was legit stressing out I was over it I felt like I had screwed this hair up completely like guys I wanted to cry because I thought I did a good job on the coloring then my dumbass cut the hair dry and messed it up and I mean leave like dry cutting to professionals because I'm no professional then I tried parting the hair and I tried cutting and I kept cutting 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 and it was not coming like together but guys this is the end result um 
I ended up leaving the hair and I cut it the day afterwards. I cut it down with a razor comb and I really wasn't going to do this hair. And then my friend said to me, yo, do a wet look. And I did. Kudos to her. And it worked out really bomb. And I think this looks fire. Please leave a like, a comment down below. And guys, when you think something is messed up, there's always a way to save it. That's what I think because this looks really fire. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you in my next one. I love you so much. Bye.